Now here's my end result. I've got everything here to make a, a stew. You've got, I've got peppers, I got a zucchini, I got squash, I got a, a oh, every, just everything to put in the stew. Now what I do, I sterilize the jar, then I wipe it out with vinegar. I wipe around the rim. See, this is vacuum sealed. I always put the lid back on the way. Now what I do, I bought, let's put it this way. I bought this little thing here on Amazon that you can hook up to your vacuum sealer or whatever. I don't do that. And it comes with a, I ain't making a very damn good video, am I? Anyway, well, I'm going to try to show you what I do. It came, it comes with a vacuum pump, uh, the hose, it comes with a big mouth lid, comes with a small mouth lid, that's what this is, small mouth, but I use, I use this pump which is a brake pump. And it comes with a hose and all kinds of connections. But uh, you can get this on uh, uh, Amazon. And it, you can tell exactly how many pounds of pressure or how much vacuum. I put 15, uh, 15 uh, up to 15. Uh, a pounds per square inch of vacuum on my jar, and I gotta put all this stuff up. But anyway, you get the general idea. And uh, at least I can get it. I dropped it. Uh, I put an uh, one of these uh, auction packs in my every jar. But like I said, this will sit on the shelf for fifteen, twenty years. And like I said, it's vacuum sealed. The only thing you got to worry about is metal lid giving up. But I don't think it's going to do that for 10, 15, 20 years. But you can make this, add water to it, put your dead squirrel in it or a dead rat or some grubs, and you got a stew. Or you, or you could just have a vegetable soup. I'm a vegetarian, and more or less anyway, but I, I like just plain vegetable soup. But that's what I do. Now that's got probably two, for me, maybe two to three meals in it. Because that'll expand. And like I said, but you can get all this stuff on Amazon. Uh, if you just want to buy the kit, a little bitty vacuum seal kit uh, that fits the jars big and small. I uh, now you don't have to go get this brake brake uh, thing because uh, you can just use the vacuum on the other. But I like this because it really shows me. Now this here is great. You can just use the vacuum pump, or you can use your vacuum sealer, which I got one, uh, and but this kit here is pretty cheap. And you can just use a hand vacuum on it. And uh, like I said, but like that's what I'm getting at. I mean, you don't have to go to expensive for the other. I just like the other because it's easier for me to use. And, and I, uh, I've got to dehydrate the rest of that. Some of that didn't do. But like I said, your end result is what matters. As long as you got that good tight seal on it, and and seal that, and the vacuum seal, I always sterilize your jar. I always wipe it out with vinegar, let it air dry. After I get through boiling the jar, and I mean it's really sterile. I put one of these packs in the top of it, and then seal it up. And now I'm good to go and. 
Uh, I do a fruit one. I'll do more vegetable ones. But you, you'd be surprised how much that would probably, if you just made vegetable soup, that'd probably feed five or six, seven, eight people at a meal. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you got to look at. How are you going to uh, survive if you can't do your do your uh, do your processing and stuff? And like I said, that is sealed up. That lasts like for years and years. I gotta go. I gotta put this up. Put some more stuff in here. I've got to do some more pickling, and I'm gonna dehydrate some eggs. And that'll be in a jar like this. You could probably put mm, I don't know. 15, 20 dozen in a, in a jar like this, of powdered eggs, maybe seven or eight dozen. I don't know exactly how many you can get in there. But when you make a bread, you put like a teaspoon, I do, for one egg, a flat level teaspoon. And then, uh, you know, if you, your cake recipe calls for two eggs, you got it. I got to put this stuff up. But like I said, I... I wish I could make better videos, but I ain't worth shit at it. But you get the general idea. And the way the world's coming today, I'd hate to say you would be foolish not to try to do some prepping. And some, uh, you know, maybe you can't do as much as 15, 20 years worth, because you put, maybe you ain't got that much time, but definitely you could do a, a couple of months worth where you could have something on the shelves to eat when your family's going hungry. I prep for my kids and my grandkids. And like y'all say, I'm going to Paul's house. I know we can eat. <laughs> uh, like I said, now I do, I do dehydrate my uh, lamb's quarters and my dandelions and put them in jars like this. Dehydrate them. And that way I can make spinach out of the, or whatever out of my dandelions and my lamb's quarters. And my poke salad. But you still have to carry out the same when you do poke salad leaves or whatever. You still have to wash them two or three times before you eat them. You know, you can't skip a process just because you dehydrated something. Gotta go. I've got a bunch more to do. My, Like I said, that, that is good in a dark, cool place. Uh, you know, for, for now, and that moisturizing thing in there, if any moisture happens to get in there because of temperature change, that energy, uh, that uh, oxygen pack or uh, moisturizing pack will take care of it. And that's, you can get them on Amazon too. I don't mo monetize. I don't, I don't care about that crap. What I'm trying to do is show the people how to survive uh, uh, after a flood, a hurricane, holocaust, whatever the hell comes down the pike. Talk to you guys later.